Hi, I'm Nelly from Coinly and welcome back. If crypto taxes have you stressed out, you're in the right place. Figuring out what you owe and what you don't can feel overwhelming, but don't worry, I'm going to make it really easy. Today, I'll walk you through how to handle your crypto taxes in Canada, minus the headaches. We'll cover what the CRA actually wants from you, how to track all your transactions, how to calculate your gains, losses, and income, and finally, how to report it all on your tax return. Okay, look, doing your crypto taxes manually is a nightmare. You'll probably mess up the numbers and end up overpaying, or worse, underpaying and getting audited. That's where Coinly comes in. It connects all your wallets and exchanges, calculates everything for you, and gives you a clean CRA compliant tax report. All right, let's get into it. So first up, if you're wondering if crypto is taxed in Canada, it's bad news. The CRA isn't messing around. Crypto is taxed, no question. The only thing that matters is how it's taxed, and it comes down two ways. The first is as a capital gain, so if you're casually trading or investing. Or it'll be taxed as income, if you're trading at scale as well as if you're mining, staking, or earning through crypto. Now, it all comes down to how the CRA categorizes your transactions and whether you have a capital gain or business income. Okay, how do you know if it's a business income or capital gain? CRA looks at this. Are you trying to make a profit? Is your activity regular and consistent? And are you promoting or advertising it? If you're trading regularly and making consistent profits, it's probably business income. You'll pay income tax on your entire profits if this is the case. Meanwhile, if you're a casual investor with capital gains, you'll pay a lot less. Okay, if you have capital gains, the rules are pretty simple. You only pay tax on half the profit in most cases. But starting 2026, if you make over 250,000 in gains, you'll pay tax on two thirds instead of half under the new guidance. For crypto transactions, you'll owe capital gains tax whenever you sell crypto for CAD, swap crypto for another crypto, spend crypto on goods or services, or gift crypto and make a profit. And it's really easy to calculate your gain. You just need to one, figure out your cost basis, which is what you paid plus fees. Then subtract your cost basis from the selling price or the market value if you swapped or gifted it. If you have a gain, you'll pay income tax on half that profit. Okay, if you have a loss from selling, swapping, spending, or gifting crypto, you can use these to offset gains and lower your tax bill. You can also carry losses forward to future years if you don't have enough gains to offset them. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, I'll leave a superficial loss rule guide down below. Okay, sometimes crypto transactions get taxed like regular income, meaning you're taxed on the full amount upon receipt. Some examples of this can include getting paid in crypto, mining rewards, staking rewards, referral bonuses, and lastly, selling an NFT you've created. In order to calculate how much you owe, you'll need to figure out a fair market value on your crypto in Canadian dollars on the day you received it and you'll pay income tax on this amount. Now on some good news, there are some breaks you can take advantage of, including only half of your capital gains are taxed under 250,000. Each taxpayer receives a basic personal amount of their income that's tax-free. And if you have unused basic personal income from your spouse, you can transfer this for a longer tax break. Moving on to lost or stolen crypto. The CRA hasn't given clear rules on this, but since crypto is treated as a capital property, you might be able to claim it as a capital loss but you can likely only claim the amount you originally paid and not the value when it was lost. Okay, so how do you actually file this stuff? Well, with Coinly, it's simple. You just need to, one, connect your wallets and exchanges to Coinly. Two, once you've done this, Coinly will calculate everything for you, capital gains, losses, income, and more. And when Coinly's crunch the numbers, upgrade to a paid plan and download your tax reports or hand it over to your accountant. Alrighty, and that's it. It's really that simple. Crypto taxes in Canada don't have to be hard. If you have any questions, make sure to one, check out our fantastic help center or visit our discuss forums where you can talk to other members of our community as well as our staff or reach out directly to our Coinly team. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching. If you want more crypto tax content, subscribe to this channel.